Uh, I'm here with uh, Nate Lackman, All-American, two-time Scholar All-American, regional champion and national champion. 170 pounds, Street Cross. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Uh, Nate, you look out for the Pennsylvania and exposed to wrestling quite a bit. 170 pounds, Street Cross. You look out for the Pennsylvania. You've got speed, you've got strength, you've got technique. Do you see any one of those uh, more important than any of the others? Wrestling. Uh, I think wrestling is a big balance of everything. You know, everything in your life really has to, uh, in order for us to really compete out there, everything else has to be in balance. So it's a good balance of everything. I think what a lot of people really can make the difference is um, really overnight sometimes is mindset. Uh, mindset's one of the biggest things that, you know, I've really helped me in college, really separated me from my high school performance to my college performance. Um, yeah, just being in the right mindset, I've decided to think that wrestling is kind of 80% mental, 20% physical, and I will I'll hold true to that. So you're saying that you get out there and you just don't lose, you have that attitude, <laughs> I'm going to win. A lot easier said than done, um, but you know, there is some skill involved, there is a lot of hard work, there's no doubt about that, but, um, but at the end of the day, you know, you're physically going up against another guy, and um, you know, all these, all these different things in life have to be in balance with the school. Um, school, wrestling, you know, what you do outside of it, and all those things matter, and all those things add up, and uh, just keeping the right mindset day by day, and um, yeah, that's um, being able to control your emotions, being able to control what you can control, um, yeah, that's one of the biggest things. So, so, actually coming up, some of these high school kids, I mean, uh, they're wondering, you know, they go to like school practice, but as far as, how much, how many hours a week do you think you need to practice? Is a lot of this practice outside of the regular school practice? So, um, it's different for everybody. Um, I'm a big believer in listening to your body. Um, you know, there is a point where you can overdo it. Um, I've learned that recently. Um, every man has his limits, and sometimes it is good to, you know, take a rest and listen to your body. But at the same time, um, there's nothing wrong with doing extra workouts. Um, outside of outside of practice, it doesn't matter to do those types of like physical activities, all that stuff. Um, it definitely will put you put you ahead. Um, it definitely can put you ahead. But um, you know, every even on the rest days, I am doing something, even if it's not wrestling, to get better for wrestling. Um, whether it's schoolwork, whether it's you know just reading up on some stuff, whatever it is, um, there's something that you can do every single day that can really that can really um, help your wrestling performance, even if it's not directly physically wrestling. What do you think about this season? You gonna do it again? Yeah, that's the hope. That's the hope. Um, you know, we've got to take it one match at a time. You know, nationals is a far away, uh, far away from right now. Um, but yeah, just gotta take it day by day. I have you know 30 plus more matches until then. But um, you know, I gotta worry about actually getting the nationals. So all that stuff before that comes, and you know, nothing. Tomorrow's tomorrow's honestly not promised. I could, I could, you know. So you gotta just take it for the minute. Right. A lot of things could happen. Yeah. But just keep working, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that's it for that one. <laughs> Shout out to the Spalding Red Raiders. Go get it this year. Stay healthy. All that good stuff. I'll be following for sure.